So I thought I'd do a video on like trap jaw, I guess like care, because this is, um, I wouldn't say that they're terribly difficult to keep, but they have just a couple quirks to them that makes it um, a little more difficult to keep them. And if you don't know about the, the quirks they have, it makes it pretty impossible to keep them successfully. So the first and most important thing is, I don't really know if this is true for all species, but at least the three species that I personally have interacted with, which is Odontomachus brennus, um, Ruganotus, and Hematotus, they're all present in Florida. This is true for all of them, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's not true for most of the genus. But um, the pupae need um, substrate in order to pupate. I mean, I'm sorry, the larvae need substrate in order to pupate. So while they're, you know, spinning their cocoon, they kind of like, the workers will even place pieces of substrate on them. And I'm not, I don't know if it just like, if they use it as kind of like a scaffolding for their silk or what, but that's kind of what I suspect. But regardless, without access to this substrate, they won't successfully pupate and they will die or be eaten by the workers or other larvae. And so if this keeps happening, obviously the colony will fail because no new workers will be produced. And so this species needs to have dirt present inside its nest. And this is kind of a, like, uh, you have to make sure that it's inside the nest is important because if it's just in the out world, the workers won't like take the dirt in the nest. Even if they're like surrounded by it, the pupae, if the pupae don't have it in the nest or the larvae don't have it in the nest, they will like continuously fail to pupate. So you have to make sure that they have substrate present in the nest. And then once you have a whole colony, if you're keeping them in a formicarium, it can actually be kind of a problem because they like to take all the dirt out of the nest. And so you have to kind of like make sure that they have enough dirt for their pupae to, or their larvae to pupate. And then the second little quirk about them is feeding. So they have a pretty specialized mouth structure and they really don't do well with larger prey items that they have to like chew. They are much uh, more adapted to consuming small, like soft bodied arthropods. And the easiest thing to use in captivity is uh, flightless fruit flies. Same, anyone that culture that keeps dart frogs or a few other pets that need flightless fruit flies, uh, flightless fruit flies knows they're very easy to keep, um, very like low maintenance, and they're a great feeder. So if you're keeping trap jaws, you have to give them um, something along those lines. Uh, rehydrated bloodworms also work really well. Um, it's like sold as fish food. It just, it's uh, freeze dried and you just kind of moisten them. And so they'll accept those. Um, and then you also have to feed them much more often than most other ants. So the larvae are like super demanding and you have to feed them basically um, like every one to two days, I would say. And this kind of, you have a little bit more slack once the colony is like well established, but during the founding stage, if you don't feed the queens, like if you don't provide the queens food to give to the larvae every one to two days, there's a very good chance that they will eat the brood, like cannibalize the brood or the larvae will cannibalize each other. Um, the queens eat the brood in order as a survival mechanism. So they're essentially, if they can't find food, they're eating the brood so that they can have the energy to lay more eggs later. So you have to make sure that they have plenty of food. Um, but if you just do those few things, like the type of food, the feeding frequency, and the substrate in the tube, um, they grow really, really fast. Um, they're pretty low maintenance. And they're a lot of fun to keep, especially because they can't climb glass. So with ants, that's always like a huge plus. And so you can see I'm just tubing up a bunch of queens we caught. And I just put a little floor of sand and dump them in. And that's that.